ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let them know who you are. Flying up in a bar. Push on a star. Time to show them who's in charge. Call me a shooting star. Six pack racks. Alright, this is Dave from One Mad Fish. I've teased you guys a few times if you've been following me on Facebook or on Instagram. But uh, something that's been. I've been looking for for a long time. I've been looking for a good container that is leak proof. Um, it's not shock proof, but it is leak proof. These are Rubbermaid containers. They're a hard plastic and they're guaranteed not to leak. That's why I have them upside down right now. Just to show you. Nice and clear, you can see what's in them. If you want to show off your coral, makes it real easy. What we have here is what I like to call six pack racks. Reason being, this cooler is a six pack cooler. Your typical six pack cooler. This is an old one of mine that I use for lunch. Old six cans and some ice. Well, now you can get a tall one for your SPS. And a short one for your softies, A cans, and such like that. There is a price difference. Forty-five each shipped. Forty dollars shipped. Minus the water. Um, it will not come with fray plugs, but yeah. But they are. Frag lock design. Has a handle, grab it in the middle. Holds 14 plugs total. Here. Holds 14 plugs. It can hold up to inch and a quarter plug tops over here on this side or this side. And if you have inch and a quarter here and here, you can only go one inch in the middle. Um, I tried to make these racks as versatile as possible. So sacrificing these two for inch and a quarter in order to be able to fit them in these containers, that was a fair sacrifice. But uh, 14 total plugs. You can have uh, 12 at inch and a quarter and two more at one inch, or you just have 14 all at um, one inch or smaller uh, handle that snaps in to the center which it has three purposes one handle two when it's in the container the top of the handle actually rests on the top of the lid so if you flip it upside down your rack does not sink keeps the, keeps the rack all in one place and a third, now there is a maximum water level in these. If you put too much water in, on the bottom side of these, you can see right there in the middle, has an air outlet or a hole. Another one on this side. If you put too much water in here while you're putting the lid on, water will escape. So to help minimize that, I made top part of this little nub right here, the flat spot, that is the maximum water level that you can have in each one of these containers. Yes, I went through the trouble and I actually filled the water up, purposely spilt the water out of them holes just so I can measure where to put the top flat. So if you're filling these with salt water the first time, 
I would say go a little below that because as you add coral into the containers, it will take up more space. So you're going to want to allow some leeway room. Um, these do have legs on them because I had to make sure that your plugs have enough room underneath. So when you set it down that you're not resting it on the plugs. Fit right in. It goes on nice. It snaps on. You will be able to get them in all black, like this guy. You can get it with the orange bottom, or you'll be able to even get it with a green bottom. And I'm gonna see how it looks, but um, I'm gonna do a translucent blue also. But don't hold me on that. The most popular one is the orange. Orange is the number one uh, selling color for my um, Fraglock design. And you hold the frags in place. Fraglock. This is Dave from One Mad Fish Small Sign. Six pack rack. Carry as many corals as you think you can.